Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame for iPad Air and 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Your kit will include windfall frame for iPad Air and 9.7 inch iPad Pro, four drywall anchors, four drywall or wood mounting screws, four VESA mounting screws, four VESA mounting nuts, and an assembly tool. It will also include four screw caps, four fit adapters for iPad Air 1, and four fit adapters for iPad Air 2 or 9.7 inch iPad Pro. There are two groups of hardware here, the drywall mounting hardware and the VESA mounting hardware. Today I'm going to show you how to use both as we mount our frame onto a VESA compatible mounting solution as well as drywall. If you're going to be mounting on a drywall, it'll be useful to have a level, a hammer, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You also need to supply your own tablet, either an iPad Air 1, 2, or in our case, a 9.7 inch iPad Pro. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to install your windfall frame onto a VESA compatible mounting solution, like this monitor arm here. The first thing we're going to do is take our assembly tool and remove the bezel from our frame. Next, we're going to take our VESA mounting screws and mount the back plate of our frame onto the monitor arm plate. We're going to take the screw, thread it through the back plate, and through the mounting plate on the monitor arm. We're going to do this in all four corners. Then we're going to take our VESA mounting nuts and secure the screws from the back. We're going to want to power our iPad during use. Now's our time to install the lightning cord. The back plate of the frame features mouse holes here that allow us to channel the lightning cord through the back plate of the frame into our tablet. We're going to take our lightning cord and thread it through the mouse holes in the back plate of the frame here. Next, we're going to install our fit adapters. Be sure to use the ones that are specific to your tablet. Since we have a 9.7 inch iPad Pro, we're going to use the fit adapters that have foam on the back. This is going to make sure that our tablet stays as close to the bezel as possible. We're going to take the fit adapters and place them in the small notches in the back plate of the frame. Now we can install our tablet. We're going to take our iPad and make sure that the power port is on the same side as the power cord and place it gently in the back plate of the frame. Now we can reinstall the bezel. For the finishing touch, we're going to take our screw caps and cover up the exposed hardware in the rear like this. Our tablet's powered, our frame is installed, and it's ready for use. Next, I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame on the drywall. To install our windfall frame on the drywall, the first thing we'll need to do is to install our drywall anchors. As you can see, I already got a head start. I took the back plate of my frame and traced out where the holes were. Then I took a hammer and the drywall anchors and hammered them in about halfway. Then I took my screwdriver and screwed them in the rest of the way. Now we can mount our back plate of our frame onto the wall. To mount the back plate, we're going to use a screwdriver and the black long mounting screws. Before we go ahead and finish up our work, we should check it with a level. Nice. The next thing we'll need to do is to install our four fit adapters in the back plate of the frame. Now we can install our tablet and reinstall the bezel. For 
a finishing touch, we're gonna take our four screw caps and use them to cover up exposed hardware in the back like this. Now our frame is installed and ready for use. And that's how you install your windfall frame for iPad Air and 9.7 inch iPad Pro. If you have any questions, please contact us at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.